Alright, back again. Um, we are still exploring this hallway. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, that was kind of useless. Um, alrighty then. Let's, uh, explore through the hallway over to the next door. Which contains one of the sleeping people. And I learned that outside of the castle there is no rehealing point so I'm gonna try avoiding these guys a little bit unless I really have to fight one because those, those like that I battled one of them off screen and it was like four of them at a time and it took quite a bit of my health away so if I can avoid them for as long as possible that would be great anyways let's try seeing what's in this room over here and how the enemies over there didn't notice me I don't know no, I can't walk in that little gap. Sad face. That looks weird. If I do the spinny move, I do like this weird thing downstairs if I do it right. Like that. This you could... Okay, yep. Yeah, upgrade another one. I am definitely upgrading Bo because she's so much more valuable than Goombario. Because Goombario sucks at life. Anyways... Yes, now she can do more damage and whatnot. Oh, you're Mario. Nice place, huh? As a matter of fact, I came to this castle with my friends to try to find Tobo Blubba's weak point. We managed to find out that there's something important hidden in Tobo Blubba's room on the highest floor. But once I got separated from my friends, I just had to hide. But you could go. First, you need to get to the uppermost floor. Then keep going until you find his room. If you happen to run into Tabo Blubba, don't, I repeat, don't fight with him. He's invincible, really. Until you fight and find out his secret weakness, you'd better just run away. Got, got that? So, no matter what, we just have to avoid a fight with him and reheal block. Eyelashes. Okay. Um. So I need to get that treasure chest. But I need to do it in like different way. I need to go to the room above it, which it's quite obvious what room that is. Mm, that would be the room just up here. Just gotta hopefully avoid that enemy. He didn't notice me until he turned around. We could just. If we slowly walk, we can do that. And then I really wanted to do that. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't catch me. Okay. And that didn't wake him up, but walking fast past him wakes him up. That makes plenty of sense. You got the castle key. Opens a locked door in Tubba Blubba's castle. Now we can go through the other hallway in the main section of the building. We just need to go back through here. Stay away from me. Actually, I want to see something. If this thing takes me outside the building, then awesome. It does. Sweet. Now I can save with the key. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Notice how her mouth is and how she looks. She looks really like... Excuse my language, but she kind of looks like a snobby bitch. But, regardless, I think that she's one of my favorite characters. Just because of that kind of attitude. Okay, now we can go through here. Avoid you. You didn't even notice me somehow. Who barely got past you. Like, I would totally, um, fight them, because they do give me quite a few star points, but if I were to fight a bunch of them, I'm gonna do it off screen. It's just not worth fighting them on screen and taking up an entire video for just fighting those guys. Okay. Mm people being loud right outside of the house 
and I live kind of close to a wall where you're able to hear things right outside. Oh boy, this looks exactly like a room in the Rouge Port Sewers of Thousand Year Door. Once more, another reference to that game, because there's so many things similar. Except in Thousand Year Door, a room like this, that's where you get the Spike Shield badge. Aha, you still missed me. Even waiting right outside the door, because that equals epic fail. Which is what you are. Damn. I, I may have gotten a star piece out of that, but it's not worth it. So now we have to get across the room again and go back upstairs and just for a star piece we did that. That's ridiculous. Turns out I don't need the help of her, I just need to do the spinny move. Which I really, once more referencing back to it, uh, wish it was in Thousand Year Door because it would really be helpful for avoiding enemies. In fact, th I'm starting to think that that's what the move is made for, to avoid enemies. Just ignore that that happened, okay? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I get it. I just thought I can outrun it. Well, more so outspin it, I guess. Hmm. It's like I'm failing at Paper Mario today, which is odd. So I don't really tend to do all too bad at this game. And I don't tend to do bad at all at the other game. I do, well I did in, in fact tend to do bad, really bad at Crash Bandicoot, the huge adventure. That whole series of 10 episodes was epic fail sauce for me. Whew, that was a close one. Come on. Okay, now we can get through that door. Let's see if we could sneak around him. <laughs> Saw that coming. Okay. And there's four of them. Perfect. Okay, um... In that case, let's... I don't want to use my FP right now. So let's just take this the slow way. Surprise enemies and scare them away from the fight. That seems helpful. I scared two of them away, making the battle quite a bit easier. Unfortunately, it's unlike Gale Force from... Uh, what's her face in Thousand Year Door? Uh, when you use Gale Force, you blow them off the stage w with uh, with wind powers, and uh, you still get star points for it. But I guess in this, if you uh, you know do the whole scaring away thing, you don't get star points. Let's just end him with Power Jump or fail with it. I do much worse at this game with Power Jump than I do in Thousand Year Door because. It's just, it's a different feel of the game, I guess. One could say. Yeah, that's all I needed to beat him, so that's all I did. And I got 10 star points, which really isn't that bad, seeing as though I legitimately only beat up two of them. Let's hit this item block and end our video. Well, this was Franklin Thorpe Gamer, and I'll I'll be back. Bye.